Hello, it's Milo Murphy, we long time again for this week. Uh, I bit, I'm gonna go a bit later than usual because I got late to watching the episode. <laughs> um, so I, didn't, I didn't feel like it until now. <laughs> no, no deeper reading, honestly. Anyway, uh, look, the first up of our pairing today, uh, I believe we're caught the pregnant now, I believe no early depth code. None of them, none of the epic code from the point I leaked at all, from what I understand. So, I'm gonna be caught up very well. First one is Look at This Ship by Scott Peterson. Um, this is the camera I, um, he finds a spaceship in the forest and he wants to, you get to prove to the world that they're alien. And they keep coming for to come and go, but of course, they don't see it. Yeah, kind of similar. Um, and in the meanwhile, Hamish and Dakota, and the, and uh, Dakota, bleh, Hamish, Jack Hamish, you know, Dakota and do which work, you know, they team up with Barner and Gamma and Law Fair, pet the partner and get try to get along, but find it harder than it came. But, yeah. Um, I enjoyed the one. I thought, uh, but I was not involved in it. Uh, the gang learned to gag about how Rivera Wade got to milk away off Kava Miles Freddy. Um, they're playing the random game. They're playing, like, some Gekin game, but guess what? Or, I think he's going the game, guess what? Pick it up. And there's one good joke where it got, um, there's something about, something about it's sticky and it's not all that unpleasant. A dirty joke. Um, and that got me. Um, my pie just the episode. <laughs> um, but despite that, I think they balance the cap stuff that purely cam edition, but with the dude for stuff, fine. I do it for I really bounce well off of Cat Dakota, I think. Um, and they're gonna like moral at the end of it, they learned that they shouldn't bet be their partner to up their previous partner and whatever. It was blunt, but it's nice. Um, and the, it got very candid, and, and speaking of candid, we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> um, and, um, that is, I thought she made it funny. So I thought both parts were entertaining, and I thought I was bouncing up. Do a lot about my though. So, um, so yeah, um, but I was trying to show pretty kid on show, and I know I think we're kind of like that, but that was by design. Here, it seems like I'm gonna stake. You know, I feel like you can hold up plot fine. I just, I don't know. But on its own, it kept pretty entertaining, and I think doing short, I think he's getting better. I think this would be one he, I, I liked him more than I have before. And here I balanced them well with the cabin and stuff. It became a quarter coming like, big, you know, one of the best parts of the show, and that kind of came now. But it kind of clear that probably won't take a show about them, and I kind of wish they just made a show about we, you know, I can maybe very little clear as well, but I think my work won't come up a code, and I think his, I feel like, you know, work won't come up a code, but this is not one that found him. Even last week, we were checking to um, one which had a little more of them. Still felt comporting to fight getting a decam at the time, but still, you know, there. But yeah, look at the ship, it's fine. I wish I had more game about it in the night ending, but nothing too deep. I felt more balanced, entertaining will come of being kept in occasionally. Go, oh, I liked it, but I wish it was more about my hope. But okay, that, look at the ship, we'll go find out. Go, go. I'll see you in a bit for Cat Party. Whew, I'm not even tired of Gum Regan. <laughs> Okay, now time for Cat Party, written by, uh, okay, uh, Valerie Bremen and Marja are, yeah, who also wrote right on the OG from last week, which I didn't mention, Whoops. um, anyway, we're gonna come after the come back, and everybody took his hand, he get a broken leg, and he got a cat, and he being down about it, going kind of throw him a party, I get a cat party, I get a literal cat party. Okay, get everyone to get a cat, and it turned out when it already happened. The previous day, everyone ever born can now we have real cat instead of you know, fake one like the plan. And they all tell story about how that happened, um, how they all ended up breaking my leg. Um, that's the plot essentially. While guy to get cheered up back here and come, yeah, he was a kind of good time. Um, this is one I really liked. Um, um, I tend to like the episode where. It looks like kind of like Game Night or Mile World, where it focuses more on the character and sort of interaction and, you know, 
I like the other stuff, but yeah, I even like throwing out some black stuff when it's like combined a bit more cleverly than a story, and that's what they did in game nights. And then, then Blitz and Magma typically take a lot more advantage of the boring can. You have Jan more the character like that. You know, you get into like have a little story here where they kind of show a bit more character and have some funny joke with them. And I just feel like back how you made the mild stuff more interesting enough, interesting enough to be the main story of your show, and to have the other character and see how they feel and react. And they're like, and, like, and I believe that you might will take a lot more advantage of that. And a little bit, and not mention the family, like care of a parent. They have a personality, they have their own deal, you know, to some degree. You know, and even, even do freaking K. Koda, who are there, no cameras. Um, they add to that here, so if you only get close if you want to flag anyway, it's not like you interrupting anything. Yeah, I kind of wish, and I don't know how we'll come back to that, but I wish we had more like it. They can like the other stuff of being taken more priority. And it seems like with the mild stuff, that's the way to make it going to get too repetitive. You take a of a boring character, and even when it comes to game competitive, like, you know, it is an up of code where they play games because the thing, well, not follow or a bad thing happen, not bad, it's like a falling over, but, uh, <laughs> you know, but I've even if it's done enough skill to where you don't know if that could get funny and they're taking advantage of the situation and character, and they come with that. And they come with me to think about how the episodes are better when they're doing that. Especially this game game where we're like rarer it seems. But still plenty, but maybe not to a good extent. Uh, and the unique framing device, um, Vic and I will have that going for it to make it stand out from our replicode. So it does go to move, and, and it's a really nice replicode. We're all having a good time, you know, in it, you know. Yeah, you, you know, we give Nick more all about, you know, doing the thing you love, and, you know. You know, which I, I appreciate it. It's really nice. We can go feel good at the code intentionally, and I like it, there's a lot of that, even in the show, uh, but again, that's yet there's a lot of that, and, you know, big for a lot of that, there's kind of a lot of that. <laughs> well, I've got, I really dug with the code, I thought, you know, I'll get to more, I feel, well, I'm not sure how it would be like, but it ended up being, it was nice, you know, I, it, it's pretty important point I liked, but it did feel more like, okay, we're feeling away from my other point, Okay, technically about their character, but at least they're in a correlation to him, you know, and he's a he is fair. <laughs> well, that I appreciate it. Um, yeah, um, the first one, yeah. um, ship, that will also look a fun vehicle number at the end of the point. Um, fine, this one looks really good though, though. So, again, you look at one I really like, like my own world. Um, Pretty few ones like that, cause that, well, I don't know, but they managed to get from the unique gag off of that, somewhat, you know, you know, um, again, it's more subjective, I guess, depending on what you find funny and what you find interesting, but if you all agree with stuff, that focus way more on things that aren't Milo tend to sometimes be more interesting, but over time it feels like you're taking a little Milo away, especially if you're doing it and I'm gonna keep talking about that, but he is improving, at least, so I don't mind. So, they'll go through to Epicode, um, but next week, it, you gotta get for them, next week it got Gacy first, and Cavendish Unleashed, I don't know the plot, but I'm gonna assume the first one again, get related. Number three go, I guess I should, uh, talk about the new, um, Disney, we're gonna have all the stuff we're doing on our streaming service, Disney Plus, so at this point I'm gonna have to get covered, like, everything on there. And then now a lot of the original stuff, and one of them is like a new big confirmed movie, specifically for Disney Plus, Canada Against the Universe, or something like that, which like have like a plot that basically this game is unfair kind of fair read up another story, but um you know big account, which uh, I would be excited for if not for all the things for stuff on my own. New show is still a part of the cast, you know probably other things kind of die down. Yeah, that's still happening. And go and feel like you're banking on it even more, but the time getting bigger, you know, to now bunch of if we get you focus. Go so Milo might get wrestling, but I doubt we're gonna like play a big part. Can we can we think for and I'm like again like <laughs> think from had a day and you know, we ended well and the still I knew episode, but you know. But they caught Milo Cloth when we Um 
And if Mom and Ra had been totally original, I think for a very factor, Vip could be a neat novelty thing, but here it feels like we're more desperate. Yeah, to cash in on it. It's like, uh, I shouldn't be kept to go about the but I am. Maybe it'll be good, maybe. But on its own, as a fun thing, to be like praying for the character more. You know, but. Apparently, the new Wicked Furman is still going to be there. Go boycott. No, no. I come for a one off Croco or a fine or like, but now for a whole movie, whatever. Okay, he done fine with that. To you, to you, everyone. I don't think so. But anyway, um. Apparently, new Furman and I'm Not Ashamed, the uh, Pure Flick Goldberg <laughs> movie. Uh, going to hell for laughing while it's getting that frame clip. There you go. Um, go, so, uh, there you go, I've got to think about, um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm okay, I'll probably, I'll watch it, I'll probably talk about it, you know, I'll probably try to make up, but I feel burnt out on any of stuff. At least you two might going to be ending that month, so, it'll be a little, little break. Um, but yeah, I'll see you for when all that goes down. <laughs> And hopefully that will be good. And hopefully we're about to my looking into it good. I just kinda want to end already because I'm more poor. But I'm running out of things to gain. Gonna get my cup, but I kinda did keep doing the gun. The leak for Milo and when that go over. Bug might be a bit of forever. And then I do a bet that journal if I feel like go. So hopefully the King of Freak wants to deal with that. But I'm on to continue doing can do so like, you know. And that's still entertaining. You know, that weekend I feel like a little more entertaining with commercial guy there, so. I get no camp code, a really good one, and a little week for a movie thing I've got to go about. Be. Well, yeah. Okay, that's